Why can't I find a job in cybersecurity? Master's degree, top certifications, I work in cybersecurity, have a master's degree, years of experience, four of the top industry certifications, I work with many recruiters, and everyone says that I interview well. Now, this guy right here, I mean, why can't he find a job? He's got everything that people say that you need. You have this vision that you buy a course on Coursera, right? Let's say Google's cybersecurity course, and then you follow a cybersecurity specialist career path. Let's say CompTIA, and then you can just start applying for roles. You can just use ChatGPT and copy paste the job description, tailor your CV to it, pointing out all the right keywords so that you get through all of the ATS systems. You can even automate this if you put some time and effort and just review the CV at the end to see that everything looks good. And then you can just apply to all all the cybersecurity jobs that have been posted in the last day. You can do this every day. Spend an hour or so every day and that's work done, okay? And then you just feel like you're working towards your goal of being a cybersecurity analyst. And this funnel will definitely get you interviews. It's a quick way to get those 300k salaries in cybersecurity. Anybody can do it, right? And this is the problem right here because anyone can do it. The market is really tough right now, right? There have been more than 400,000 layoffs in the last two years. I mean, not just in cybersecurity, security but there's a flood of experienced professionals all competing for the same roles and when people mass apply to any job the good candidates get lost in a sea of suboptimal applications this led to higher level engineers to apply for lower level positions the market is really bad right now a ton of cybersecurity people are out of work with a ton of experience so the seniors are gobbling up lower level positions because they got laid off and it's just trickling down i've been a senior security engineer for years and i've been struggling to find real work yes the trickle-down effect is real. Senior engineers are taking roles that juniors would usually fill, and this makes the competition even worse at the lower levels because they need to get a job and if nobody's responding you get a little bit desperate the market is flooded with zero to five years of experienced people because it's so easy to apply for a job every job has a thousand plus applicants 90 percent not qualified for the job companies aren't stupid and it's always a matter of supply and demand even though the actual supply is relatively small the perceived supply is super high so the companies are lowballing everybody because they can salary expectations matter in this market and you can have great credentials right you can be at the the top of your game but nowadays companies are literally playing games to see how desperate people are and i'm talking about intentionally lowering salaries and stripping away benefits check out my video about corporate greed and why nobody can find a job i talk about how hr departments manipulate job listings and i bet this is really in the cybersecurity space as well so the salary that you're looking for that might be the issue because companies are taking advantage of this flooded market and they constantly lowball candidates they know that they can offer less and still find find somebody qualified. In cybersecurity, this can be even more widespread because cybersecurity is actually a cost center. It's an expense rather than a revenue driver. And unless you actually offer cybersecurity services, you're actually an expense. And in this high interest rate market, companies are more focused on profit rather than on long-term risk reduction or protection. So listen, Cybersecurity is critical, I know that, but many businesses are not that willing to invest in it right now. They actually prefer to look at two things nowadays. They look at core engineering because that has always been needed to sustain the business and generative AI, or gen AI if you wanna use the cringy business word for it. Let's be real. Businesses take the risk of a data breach because they think that it won't happen to them. So they don't really spend anything upfront in order to secure their infrastructure. And cybersecurity isn't a top priority nowadays. Even if some people, you know, and especially cybersecurity influencers, even if they tell you that it is. So the spread between what you think you're worth to the company in terms of countering potential data breach losses versus what they are willing to pay, that difference can be very huge. Now, look at this guy. I'm a recent college graduate. I've been interested in computer stuff and cybersecurity, and I've been thinking about going back to school to pursue a career in this field. People hear that cybersecurity and AI are what companies need nowadays, so they think that the job is for them. They're interested in computer stuff, so clearly that's for them. I would love the honest truth about what you guys think of your jobs. How's the work-life balance? Do you have to interact with people on a regular basis? Can you do some work from home? How's the pay? You see, 
All of these questions are related to his comfort, not related to the actual tasks and the actual jobs, because work-life balance, right? Avoiding human interactions and good pay and work from home. I think this is the problem, right? This is the problem with tech nowadays because people that aren't passionate about it are ruining the market for all the graduates and the experienced people that do it for the right reason. You can avoid talking to people and work from home, right? And you can also make money, but not in the job where you actually work for somebody else. But specific to cybersecurity, I think this is getting insane because it's not a job for anybody but for some reason everybody thinks that is the best thing to get into this right here too many people want to be in cyber without even knowing what the point of it is nor how it works this question gets asked every day bottom line don't get into cybersecurity. not until you have had at least five to ten years of some other it field experience this field is flooded and way over hyped and oversold people can't get jobs i have 20 plus years of great experience for total newbies it's nearly impossible right now very true Cybersecurity is a broad field and you need to decide and be clear about the specific job that you actually want in cybersecurity. Aiming to simply get into cybersecurity is too vague as a goal. It's like saying that you want to work in tech because you like computer stuff. You gotta know what type of job you're actually targeting and that knowledge only comes after years of working in other tech roles. And you gotta start with a well-defined and clear job. Like for example, web developer. Not just this one, but pick a clear role with defined responsibilities and you gotta grow from there. Think about it. Why would a company hire a college graduate that doesn't know anything about servers or network admin for a role that requires them to understand these things? Why would they hire somebody that tells the infrastructure team to make some changes, but he cannot really understand the ramifications of the change from a broader perspective, either from a business perspective or from an infrastructure perspective. And this role is not an entry role and people need to understand that because unless you actually have some hands-on technical experience, you're not gonna make it. So best to start simple software engineering, okay? And then after four or five years, you're gonna figure out what your next steps are gonna be. Because nobody would hire a cybersecurity beginner that just wants a well-paid remote role. Unless they wanna pair him with an experienced hire and they're just gonna try to make a statement, you know, that they're growing their cybersecurity capabilities. And that happens in periods of growth. But nowadays, since it's a cost center, guys, why would a company double down on this? And speaking of remote, every job ad is flooded with guys from lower cost of living countries that are offering to do the same job for a fifth of the cost of hiring you. So you cannot really compete with that and you don't even want to. It would be a losing battle from the get-go. If you're really interested in getting a job, you gotta start with jobs that have an on-site requirement because that on-site demand will filter out some competition. That's gonna be a little bit limiting because you're gonna need to be in an area where these jobs are actually located. But that will get rid of a lot of the competition and you just gotta adapt to the times guys you know because the reality is that remote work okay especially for beginners is getting very rare or almost impossible to find where you live will significantly impact your job search and that's the way it's gonna be big tech hubs have more cybersecurity jobs right but they also have a lot more competition and the cost of living is also a lot higher so there's a trade-off that you're going to need to consider but as a beginner to expect a high paying remote job that just fits like a glove that's not realistic thinking the fact that experienced hires can still do it that's because they have a lot of years of experience and they know exactly what buttons to push without actually being told and being handheld all the time and if those candidates are having issues just like the guy from the beginning of this video then you can imagine that it's time to start being realistic look at this guy starting out no it experience but have two cybersecurity certs i know it's not practical to expect an soc job by just certs alone no kidding i mean the thing is that he got two certifications in three months and he has no work experience nowadays there's this misconception that you can just shortcut your way into a job by getting five or six certifications the point of certifications is to prove to employers that you're familiar with the stack but they should complement some existing experience for example when you want to move into cybersecurity from another tech area that shows that you're committed to branching out but the certification meta is kind of done because everybody's getting certified in four or five different areas and if everybody's getting certified then who are they you know what are their core skills if they have so many certifications so the way certifications can help you is if you already have some experience that can be enhanced for example, let's say that you're a data scientist and you want to move into cloud AI engineering, then you can start preparing for Azure's AI 102 exam. And the same for cybersecurity. Azure's AZ500 exam for Azure security engineers. But you see, these are clear roles, not cybersecurity, not AI. 
Those two are too broad and you're going to be completely lost if you aim that broad. Because if you're looking for an Azure security engineer job, getting cloud certified is a great way to show to employers that you can define security controls and identify security vulnerabilities. At getthatbadge.com we offer practice exams to help you prepare for cloud certification exams such as the AZ500. Check it out because this way you can also support this channel and improve your chances to get a better job. But sincerely, getting a job in cybersecurity is a losing proposition if you aim this broad and you want to have all the comfort of a remote job. You need to pick a cybersecurity area where your previous experience can help. Don't compete with the whole world for a small number of fully remote jobs and position yourself in a specific niche where you can actually compete. But what's your experience with the cybersecurity market? Let me know down in the comments and if you liked what you heard, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.